One of the most nuanced classes of business in insurance is engineering firms. Here's what I mean and everything you need to know. Hi, my name is Ryan Hanley. I am the founder and president of Rogue Risk where we do insurance differently, specifically by giving you knowledge and information to make the right insurance decision. When it comes to engineering firms, there is incredible nuance in the various things that that engineering firm does, the projects they take on, the expertise that they have. So first I wanna run through the things that are fairly ubiquitous between different engineering firms. Business owner's policy. So this is gonna be your general liability, your property. It's a whole basket of coverages that you need to kind of cover the general nature of your office and operations. For the most part, the business owner's policy is going to be relatively the same between carriers and types of engineering firms. There may be some nuance depending on how much on-site work your engineering firm does. Okay, uh, cyber liability, workers' compensation, commercial auto, a lot of these policies are going to be just, you know, fit them in with a company that writes engineering firms. And as long as that they know the type of engineering you do, you'll either be accepted or not accepted to that carrier's program and you're fine. Where the nuance comes in for engineering firms is in the professional and errors and omissions coverage. And this is incredibly important. This is where spending the time with uh, an insurance agency that is going to walk you through all the aspects of what you do and make sure that the errors and omissions policy that you purchase fits your class of business, your type of projects and expertise is vitally important because all of these policies, regardless of who you buy them from, are gonna ca call it engineering, professional and errors and omissions or engineering, you know, like the general title for all these policies, this particular policy is going to be exactly the same. Yet the actual language, the contract underneath that title can be incredibly different, profoundly different, you know, game changing for your business, different. And, and I'll just give you a couple quick examples. Um, we work with an engineering firm that primarily sources its business from mining firms. So they're helping mining operations better understand how to set up equipment, where to mine, uh, what types of um, uh, layering to do, how deep to go, how to avoid certain incidents or risks in their business and how to set that operation up. A standard engineering E&O policy is not going to cover a mining, you know, the mining work. And we have to go out and find a company that is going to specifically address the, the needs and add back coverage where necessary to make sure that when you're, you know, 300 feet deep in a mine, you know, talking about uh, where the, the, the loaders can drive and park and the stability of mine walls that's that's not going to be work that's standard that that's that's normally covered that's going to be specifically excluded and needs to be added back in uh, uh, someone that works with waterways an engineering firm that works with with high-rise buildings th there is so much nuance and differentiation in specialty and all policies are not written equal so this is where engineering firms need to spend some extra time with their insurance professional and make sure that that person understands what their risk is, that you've talked through the various expertise and that you've found a carrier and coverage that's going to address if something happens. Or you can make the tactical decision not to insure yourself. I mean, you're self-insuring at this point. It's not that you're just not gonna be found liable if something happens, but you can self-insure, but at least Either way, and I don't advise self-insurance in any regard in this, of this nature, but my point in saying that to you is you can make every decision with eyes wide open, seeing full transparency into what your policy has. So just because a policy says engineering e &O or engineering professional liability does not mean that what you do is covered. This is very, very specific to your line of business. You need to understand the contractual language, or at least you need to have an agent who can talk you through better understanding that contractual language so you can get the right um, professional in any and o which is the core risk that most engineering firms face, maybe outside of cyber. So 
If this is the kind of relationship that you would like, then give us a call, 518-960-6600. You can visit us online at roguerisk.com, or I'm sure there's a button or a link somewhere around this video that will let you contact us. Whichever way you choose, we look forward to working with you.